I'm Isaac Shelton, Media Arts student at the CTE Academy. Thank you for joining us for the District News Minute. The Sioux Falls School District is a richly diverse, student and staff-centered organization that plays an important role in the success of the Sioux Falls community. A demographical report showcasing the district's student and staff by featuring the diversity, strengths, and opportunities that allow us to continue to be leaders in the state, region, and nation was presented at the most recent Board of Education meeting. The report shows the district saw a slight increase in enrollment numbers following the COVID-19 pandemic. In addition, student diversity continues to grow. Nearly 41% of students indicate they proudly represent a diverse culture. Almost 11% of students are receiving services to learn English. And 15% of students are receiving specific support through special education programs. Additionally, results show Sioux Falls School District students continue to improve graduation rates, score higher on state and national assessments, and perform well on college readiness exams. If you would like to see the report in its entirety, please visit our website at sf.k12.sd.us and click on the School Board tab. In other news, Architecture Incorporated, a longtime partner of the Sioux Falls School District, recently launched a grant program seeking innovative educational proposals from teachers across the state. In total, they received 56 applications. Of the 56 applications, only four were chosen. Two of the four lucky, lucky winners are Sioux Falls School District educators. Christian Swenson from Lincoln High School received nearly $2,000 for supplies to his home maintenance students building yard libraries. This will be a collaborative effort with the LHS English Language Learners Department to get, the books, to get books in the hands of children in low-income neighborhoods within the city of Sioux Falls. Danette Dyer from Ann Sullivan, the other award re recipient, received $1,500 to support English language learners with visuals to advance their skills. The Sioux Falls School District is thankful for its generous community partners, like Architecture Incorporated, who provo provided funding for opportunities that may otherwise go unfunded. And finally, report cards are in for the 2020 to the 2021 school year. School report cards are produced by the South Dakota Department of Education and provide information on how the students and schools across the state performed. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, some of the data from this year's report card are incomplete. As we look at the 2020 through 2021 report card of the, of the things we need to recognize is that South Dakota public schools were committed to providing in-person instruction in a year full of disruptions said Secretary of Education Tiffany Sanderson in a press release. Statewide, far fewer students took the state assessments in English language, arts, and math than previous years, for example. This change provides an incomplete picture of overall performance. For that reason, Secretary Sanderson cautioned that this report sh uh, should be viewed within the scope of the individual year. More information about the Sioux Falls School District's report card will be shared in, an, uh, in a November Board of Education meeting. You can learn more about new initiatives, classroom projects, view fine arts performances uh, and sporting events, and get important information for parents and students by checking out the Sioux Falls School District's cable channel, KLRN, your Sioux Falls Classroom Connection, on Mid-Continent Channels 20 and 595, or by visiting the website at www.sf.k12.sd.us. Thank you. Join us each week for more news and information about your Sioux Falls schools. With the District News Minute, I'm Isaac Shelton. Thank you for joining us.